Hello. Yeah, Jim. I don't know if uh, you remember me or not. I, this is Joel Labava um, uh, calling from Cleveland, Ohio. We, uh, I called you like a month ago, and we spent about 45 minutes or so on the phone. You were really helpful. Remember, I'm the guy looking for the, the Bucket of Wings franchise opportunity up here in Cleveland? Right, 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 yeah. I'm the one that, yeah, I'm the one that um, purchased that uh, a puppy, uh, uh, yeah, like a month and a half ago, two months ago, and yeah, I yeah, returned to the breeder because, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, he was smart and stuff, but uh, I just, I couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't chase him around. Yeah, he was just too much. So anyway, I know you have uh, that Dalmatian of yours that nine years old, so that, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys run around a lot. That's great. Hey, listen, anyway, um, I had another question for you. I mean, I really appreciate you giving me kind of an idea about uh, when you broke even and when uh, you really started to see the profit come in. And actually, between you and me, you're really the only the only current franchisee of Bucket of Wings that uh, uh, shared um, some of your real numbers with me. I really appreciate it. I'm getting real close to making a decision. Um, I'm thinking of buying, uh, you know, the three pack like you did, where, um, you know, you you purchase one franchise and then a year later you get the other one, then a year, year and a half later, right, right. So yeah, I want to be a multi, I want to be a multi franchise unit owner just like you, Jim. Well, you know, Cleveland, Tennessee, and Cleveland, Ohio are two different places, but hey, they both have the same name, so hopefully uh, it'll be a, a a good luck charm for me by speaking to a franchisee in Cleveland, Tennessee. This is. This is great. Anyway, I, I, I wanted to ask you a question, and um, it, it has nothing to do with the money, but it has to do with, I guess, how you're feeling about this thing after, you know, being around for three years. And, and, and the question is this. If you had the opportunity to do it all over again, would you? You would. Wow. That's great. Why? Because I know you looked at a couple other franchises. Because they walk the walk. Well, thank you. you. know that is awesome. That is that is good to know. And one more little one that has to do with this. It's kind of a cousin to it. And if well, if really, it really is. What if I was your cousin? Would you tell me to go ahead and get a bucket of wings franchise? If I was right for the food business, you you would. Thank. You. That is awesome, Jim. Thank you so much. And uh, you know, hopefully, if I decide to do this, I will meet you and shake your hand. Maybe even give you a hug uh, at, at their uh, annual convention, you know, if I become a franchisee. So thank you. That is so good to know. All right, Jim. Thanks. Bye. My name is Joel Labava. I'm the Franchise King. And I just called Jim in Cleveland, Tennessee and asked him question number out of the book, Become a Franchise Owner. Question number 33, which was, if you had the opportunity to do this all over, would you do it again? That is such a great question to ask. I think it's almost as important as the money question and, and, and the questions that we, we discussed the last couple of videos and the last couple of blog posts about how much you're making. You know, how much you're making is important, but not everyone is really in this just for the money. They want to be happy and satisfied, and it sounds like Jim in Cleveland, Tennessee was, and I got the answers that I was looking for by connecting with the franchisee and as you can see, I got to know him a little bit. Knew that he had a Dalmatian that was nine years old and, and knew that he was a multi-unit owner and, and just, just a lot of stuff. So I called him back after about a month because I felt comfortable doing so. And, and he once again opened up to me. So when you do your franchise research, don't be shy. Call the franchisees over and over again if you have to until you get the answers. Once again, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. And thank you for watching this franchise video.